Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler filming south from Jeanette's Pier and then turning the cam south and east as beautiful bright golden rays stream down on a semi-choppy North Atlantic Ocean with some one to two footers rolling in here. Uh, Semi-rideable, nothing too crazy, but if you had the will, you could probably get out there and ride some waves. Um, we got some somewhat consistent waves forming in some brobbling sections here down to the south of the pier near a sandbar and then some infrequent waves forming up at the sandbar to the south of the pier on the set. Uh, generally smaller conditions than yesterday did get out yesterday uh, headed south and got a couple of surf sessions down the Salvo Avon area some pretty good waves down there uh, did enjoy although it was a little choppy still fun and managed to ride the uh, big old foamy quite a bit. It's amazing how easy it is to catch waves on that thing. But uh, waiting for my lost rocket redux to get repaired so we can get back in the water and uh, train up on some short board skills uh, in the fall here. Uh, right now it is cooling off into the fall. Ocean water temperature is about 68 degrees here in Nags Head and then further to the south. Uh, 69 70 degree ocean water temperatures in the road anthe um, avon area and then down in buxton ocean water temperatures 73 air temperatures cool in the lower 60s all right so let's get down to some local observations across the outer banks and in the mid-atlantic region here and right now at nags head we've got one to two foot waves slightly choppy conditions with this beautiful sky and sunlight uh still a rather nice day swell coming in out of the north at about 2.9 foot and five seconds north northwest winds at 12 miles per hour air temperature 63 ocean water temperature 68 low tide today at 3:58 p.m just to hop to our north in virginia beach we've got one foot waves slightly choppy conditions and then down in rhodanthe one to two foot waves slight chop slightly smaller swell there out of the north at 2.6 foot and five seconds and then north northwest winds at 14 miles per hour air temperatures also 63 degrees ocean water temperatures 69 low in rhodanthe low tide today in rhodanthe at 4 40 p.m and then further south at buxton uh, i guess more consistently turning in towards shore at two foot and clean with a north northeast swell a little bit smaller again at 2.5 foot and seven seconds, not quite as frequent. With some north northwest winds at 11 miles per hour, 64 degree air temperatures, ocean water temperatures 73, and looking at a low tide today at 3:59 p.m. Last of all, at Frisco, we've got one foot waves and clean conditions. Looking at the broader weather picture, with the information provided by the Global Forecast System model and the National Weather Service surface service geez wow uh national weather service we've got north northwest and northerly winds continuing behind the front over the next couple of days generally turning toward the east as we get into the day on thursday but these slightly choppy and relatively small conditions expected to continue through friday with the wave forecast indicating that the waves are likely to increase in size and become cleaner on Friday. We'll see how that works out as the wave forecast have tended to indicate cleaner conditions in the semi uh, in the medium to longer range, even though winds and choppy conditions have tended to prevail through the middle of October. It is also worth noting that the National Hurricane Center is tracking a disturbance in the central tropical Atlantic that is now starting to look more and more organized and if it does continue on its development trend will become the next tropical depression and possibly a tropical storm this system according to the national hurricane center has an 80 percent chance of developing over the next seven days so we're going to have to keep an eye on things the models do have this system tracking off more toward the north not becoming um a imminent influence for the coastline but we will just have to see how things develop looks like conditions are getting a little bit more favorable in the tropics 
And then overall, just looking at the general forecast, didn't mention this before, but Friday and Saturday, according to the forecast, wave conditions for the Outer Banks uh, looking a bit more favorable. We'll see if that forecast holds. All right, so thank you for joining me for this Tuesday, October the 17th session of the OBX wave report as we watch some small one to two foot waves roll in, new surfers in the water. Hope you guys do get out there. And as I always do, I'd like to ask you guys to please do everything to help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning, those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms and uh, ocean heat waves, as well as ocean acidification that harm our sea life. The primary actions right now to help reduce fossil fuel burning and the related carbon emissions that are causing the damage to our environment is the rapid deployment of clean energy, clean energy being wind, water, solar, and electric vehicles, as well as the various activities to add sustainability features to our activities as human beings here on planet earth and as those who love and enjoy our beautiful coastlines all right so thank you for joining me once more for this session and hope you guys do get out into the water and out to the beaches to enjoy the beautiful fall